We have an update tonight on the investigation into those two loose dogs that were mistaken for coyotes in Warwick. One of the suspects charged in connection with the animals was in court earlier today. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joins us now live in studio with what happened at that arraignment. Lauren? Andrew Sandville was ordered held without bail after Warwick police say he was one of the two suspects who set the dogs free on purpose over the weekend. 32-year-old Andrew Sandville appeared in district court Friday after causing a scare in Warwick where two dogs were mistaken for coyotes. The dogs, which police say may be wolf hybrids, were not the only animals in his care. According to court documents, the officers took custody of 13 cats and 12 dogs at a home on Seaview Avenue. The defendant also admitted that none of the animals had been treated by a veterinarian and could not provide rabies uh, vaccine documentation for them. The animals are now in the custody of the Warwick Animal Shelter, and the court housing authority has condemned their Powhatan Street residence and determined it to be unlivable. Sandville and 29-year-old Amanda Bray were arrested Thursday and charged with one count of animal cruelty, improper care of dogs, failure to vaccinate against rabies, and two counts of abandonment of animals. The other suspect, Amanda Bray, has been released on personal recognizance and will face a judge next month. This comes after officers spent hours Hours Thursday morning chasing the two dogs. Police say six month old siblings Libby and Bella are now in the custody of Warwick Animal Shelter. Got information from the original owner that he had himself vacated the residence at 56 Powhatan and left the two dogs. He was provided information by um, two individuals that we subsequently arrested that they had abandoned those uh, two dogs. As of right now, the original owner of the hybrid dogs will not be facing charges. Warwick Mayor Frank Picozzi says the animal shelter will be testing the dog's DNA to determine their exact breed. This will take four to six weeks. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.